Today we're trying Paldo Rice Punch from Korea. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try Paldo Rice Punch. And as you can tell, it's from Korea. I picked this up. I forgot where I got it. Somewhere in Hong Kong, I got it at some store. I saw it. I said, what the heck's that? Rice Punch. Uh, yeah, so it's been around since 1993. It's got to be good, right? Um, as it's imported to Hong Kong, it has the importation sticker, so I can actually read it. Um, I actually didn't even see the rice punch here. I was like trying to read it in a super, super, super small text here. And I was like, Rico Rico punch? What is it? Oh, rice punch. Um, so yeah, it's actually really impossible to read. As you can see, it comes in a super tiny can. This is like half the size of a normal can or less. It's only 238 milliliters, which is, I don't know, whatever. It's like four ounces or something. So anyway, let's give it a try. I have no idea what rice punch is supposed to taste like. The only punches I've had is fruit punch, right? That'd be, I mean, you can't even have apple punch, no. Grape punch, no. Rice punch, no smell discernible. I guess not really. Okay, so let's try it. Tastes kind of like a soy, not exactly soy milk, a little bit soy milk or like some kind of almond, one of those like almond drinks. It's not that bad. Got kind of some sugar caney taste to it. Mm, yeah, so I don't know if it's really punch. I guess it's really rice. Um, not that bad. Better than I expected, at least put it that way. Um, so one of the things is it does, did say to shake it. I kind of shook it when I was carrying it over here. So hopefully it doesn't get really bad towards the bottom if I didn't shake it enough. Uh, the other thing is it lists the sugar here as a whopping 17 grams. But then I noticed not all these labels are consistent. In this case, it's for the whole serving, which is one can, which is like 238 milliliters. So that means it's less than half per 100 milliliters, which is the normal way of, of uh, measuring it. So 100 milliliters, if it was half, it would only be 8.5 or whatever, but it's actually less than that. So maybe it's like six or seven, which is actually quite low because uh, Coke is like 10 and a half or 10 point something. And uh, some of the really bad ones, like the VLT that I normally use as my reference as one of the worst ones, is something like 13 plus grams of sugar per 100 milliliters. And this is only 17 for the whole can, which is two, 2.4 servings, give or take or whatever, 2.4 milliliter units. Anyhow, I guess you guys don't really care about that. Um, I can't read Korean, so I have no idea what this says. I'm assuming this says something about rice and punch. And of course, Paldo is the only other English besides rice punch that's really on here um, on the actual label. Uh, as I mentioned, sometimes, like, sometimes there is no English logo or whatever. So pretty much the only thing you can go by is like the URL. So it's paldodrink.com co.kr um, so yeah you know it's, it's a paldo from that okay and as always i give my final verdict as well so for the final verdict on the paldo rice punch from korea i'm gonna say not much of a punch but actually better than i expected okay so that's it for today don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up uh check out our other videos all that kind of stuff i got pepsi videos i got coke videos i got weird you know no name brands like Paldo. Uh, definitely check it out. Some of my China videos are actually getting kind of popular because I find all this random shit. Um, and also I got my McDonald's videos too. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Not two, not three, but four, count on four special heritage edition bottles from Coca-Cola. So this is a...